on this special episode. I lead a group of four eager prospectors miles up a remote Gold Ridge Canyon for a three-day, two-night gold prospecting expedition. This isn't your average outing. We've headed a half day's ride on terrain too rugged for most vehicles. Luckily, we arrived at the large flat cobble bar we had headed for and quickly made camp that will serve as our home for the next few days. Once we're established, we make good use of our time. We get to work moving a lot of material as fast as possible. We want to see just what this gravel holds. We've been here before and we know that there's great values. What do you got over here? Small nugget, dude. Oh, dude. Man, it's got some crystalline pieces in it. Wow. This was my second sleep, dude. So join us on this epic golden adventure into the California Mother Lode region. Almost ready to go. I just have a few more things to do. Just have to go check in at the campground where we're leaving our trucks. This thing is loaded up. I don't know if it could get any more loaded. <laughs> these guys are riding these guys. You guys ready? Yeah, Hell dude. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Stoked. <laughs> I think we're ready. It's gonna be awesome. thankfully was going as planned. We had about an hour's ride down a rough road that just kept getting rougher and rougher as we went. Soon the road turned into more of just a wash and well, we rode that too. After about 20 to 25 of those, we finally made it to camp. All right, we made it. We made it. We made it. <laughs> made this, it. This is our little shanty camp. Little mining shanty he's setting up over here. We have the spot me and JC are gonna just sleep out here under the stars. Have the little couch, the table, all of our mining gear. And we're gonna get to work. It's 
nice trek getting in here, but uh, I'm a little worried about the ride back out, but I'm gonna enjoy it while I'm here and we'll worry about that then. I know. <laughs> I need to think about recovering for the ride out. How's it going? I'm good. What do you think? I don't know. I got my double sluice. I think uh, nothing's getting away. I see that. Miner's best friend right there. Right there. Yeah, there's quite a bit showing up on the map, but we'll see what the uh, end result is. And then this guy, we're going to take it out and look at it. Dude, did you notice that my second sluice has no rocks in it at all? Nope. And it's been catching everything this whole time. Here's where we're digging. This is what Very I've weird, moved. Right? Very weird, right? So I dug everything off the top of this, and I'll show you what I got over here. Here is my cleanup from five buckets. It must have took me, I want to say 30 minutes of digging for this. But this is what we're working with here. It's really easy digging. Oh, that's the perfect flow. Good. That's the perfect flow, man. Yeah, so that right there. I can shovel it in. As fast as I can shovel it in and then it disappears. Five buckets. But not like too crazy. Lots bro. of five. And there's going to be even more of the super fine stuff in these other sluice boxes. You know, the bazooka is not going to ca catch it, but I could run faster. So we'll see how it adds up. I just came up to the camp to drink some water, cool down a minute, take a break. Those guys are still down there working pretty hard. Um, I've just remembered I had something to give JC a little surprise um, from Two Toes. So I'm going to do that now. Ooh, what is that? Look what I brought you. Oh, dude. Thank you, Two Toes. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to use these things. <laughs> it's extra thick. All right, extra thick. Gary, hook it up. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Woo! Check out my big hole. I've been oh, working. swimming pool. In my swimming pool. I've been digging this thing probably a good two hours, I'd say, we've been working. We've been just working solid. I decided, you know, I'm running the bazooka. That's what these things are meant to do. You just shovel right into them. So I just started digging a hole. It's about waist deep. <laughs> JC's been up here working this stuff still. Making a cut. Making the cut. Making that cut. Awesome. Looks good. How's the box look? So it's hard to tell, huh? Hard to tell. We won't know until we clean it up. I'm about to clean mine up right now. I'm gonna pull it out. Like I said, I've been probably running for two hours straight, making this swimming pool. We're gonna see what we got. Here's what I've done so far. Not too bad for just playing around, just digging gravel in the sluice. Probably a gram there. <laughs> This will be a fun blue ball run. Man, this is so awesome. We've been thinking about coming back here for, you know, over a year. I think it's been over a year, a year and a couple of months. We're finally here. The weather is just perfect. We're gonna have a nice spell of weather while we're here. It's gonna be hot, but it's gonna be nice. This is a little bit hard to get up here though. That's the one thing about this spot. The camp is a little bit hard to go back and forth, but we'll make do. Ooh. That's not bad. How much more now? Yeah, for like 20, 30. I think it's anywhere between 20 and 40 bucks. What's going on? Oh yeah. Taking a break, going. Taking a break. Checking out my gear. Food break. Drying up a bunch of stuff. Those shoes are taking a while, but all my other is dry already. Nice. Yeah. JC's like screaming over here. I got a nugget! <laughs> got a nugget! <laughs> Get the beers! He's yeah. like, I saw a nugget! He's got no. Really?
got one? Come on, Hell yeah! What do you got over here? Small nugget, dude. Oh, dude. It's my first one. Right, man, it's got some crystalline pieces in it. Wow. This was my second sluice, dude. Bottom of the hole. Bottom Can you imagine what's in my first or what I, what I, this is what I was missing anyway. So you better check the top one. <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. That's, that's a cool one. Yes, dude. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Check the top one, man. <laughs> well, you can keep yeah, running, I think. Like... Bigger piece. Yeah. New, new piece sticking to all of them here. Oh my gosh, awesome. dude. Bottom so of your hole. <laughs> yeah. Small nugget, right? Yeah. It's not a it's a or big picker, whatever you want to call it. Oh, yes. Alright, well, more work to be done. Alright. Dude, that was it. I mean, there's some other stuff in there, but that's all my second one caught. Thank goodness. Uh. <laughs> Chasey's onto the higher ground. Higher ground. Prospecting that high bank ground. Yeah. High ground. The uppercut. Yeah, uppercut. <laughs> there you go. Give him the uppercut. The uppercut. <laughs> Making the cut, baby. Let's see. We'll see if the uppercut makes the cut. <laughs> Chasey's wash plant versus <laughs> team for the load. <laughs> At this point, my dad, my brother, and myself started digging a huge hole right in front of the sluice boxes. JC continued on with his uppercut, and we're gonna find out which diggings is better. This bazooka sluice.
I'm just hitting the known pager. I should have been prospecting. My bad. I'm sorry. You guys are doing you guys are doing the right thing. You're supposed to set it all at the bottom first, and then the top is just to keep it there while you wash it back. Not as much as I wanted, but it's good. Yeah. Well, plus whatever's in my second. Yellow powder. We're all getting in some dry clothes, getting comfortable. My dad's setting up his tent over here. Got a nice flat spot. JC got on some dry clothes. I got on some dry clothes. Got my nice flash in your pan towel. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna set up a fire. Right over here, JC's already been collecting a bunch of wood. We gotta get a little bit more wood, make a ring, get dinner going. It's getting dark, getting ready for a meal, waiting for the coals. Some hardwood on there. A stash of wood for afterwards. Rick's over there doing his photography. Here's the camp. Here's a sleeping situation. These guys got their tents over here. <laughs> Loving life. He's got the chair over here, the couch. Yeah, yeah. Kelly, Kelly chair. <laughs> There's a Kawasaki chair too. <laughs> this is nice. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Glamping. Glamping, <laughs> this is glamping. <laughs> Oh man, that is awesome, Check JC. Check out that grill right there. Chef Boyar JC. Chef <laughs> JC. <laughs> Campfire cook. Pretty old yeah. season. Old that man is. with his tequila shots. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got some scotch. Don't forget that too, brother. Look it up. Oh shoot. Yeah. I might have to <laughs> Yeah. I don't like the tequila. I can't do More. that. Huh? I can't do the tequila. Isn't scotch whiskey? Tequila. Isn't scotch whiskey? Isn't that what it is? I have no idea, but Similar. I think it's a different sort of... Look at that. Oh, there he goes. He's got the lemonade pouch. <laughs> lemonade <laughs> tequila shot. The lime. Down the hatch. Oh, man. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. I might have come up with some. <laughs> <laughs> We stayed up sharing stories for a few more hours, but quickly got to bed. The warm Indian summer air, coupled with the starry nightscape that we had to look at, sure made for an awesome night. <clears throat> we made it through night number one. Everything's covered in dew, nice and damp. Oh well, I slept pretty good. I woke up a little cold. I think it was because of the dew. Now we're just cooking, heating up water, getting ready for breakfast. Oh yeah, breakfast. Mountain House biscuits and gravy is one of the best breakfasts. I've tried all of their, you know, they got the scramble, the eggs. This one tastes a lot like real good biscuits and gravy. They did a good job on this one. <laughs> Yep, JC. Old fashioned oats. Got his oatmeal. Eat like a horse. <laughs> Old man's just walking around checking stuff out. Get energized and we'll get back on the gold. Check out JC's gold. This is just cleaned up. He's still got some stuff in the black sands, but that's what he's gotten out of it so far. That's just what I sucked up out of it with the snuffer bottle. That Here's looks my really good. Spicy picker. 
quartz all through it. Mostly gold though. I thought it was more quartz than gold, but it's mostly gold. Ooh, let me hear it again. Ooh, yeah. All right. Do the top technique. Watch it climb. Oh man, yeah. That's still at least a grand for sure, if not more. Fine gold weighs more than I always thought too, every time yeah. I get into it. Got a little more weight than it looked like. Yeah, that's true. That might be like a penny weight, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm hoping. Nice. Look at what I'm dealing with here. Digging into the bank here, following this line. See this line of gravel here, this rusty stuff, I'm following that. Uh, running it through the bazooka. Nice and slow. We're gonna see what happens. We haven't had the camera on much because we've just been working hard. Check it out. I dug deep into here following that line. He's been doing pretty much the same up here. Using this kind of to hold the water back, get the right flow. It's working pretty good. And there's gold in it, it's just so fine. I don't even know if the camera will pick it up, but there's a lot of it. And it's really hard to tell. It's all it's hard to get it all in one pan because it's so much black sand. Like it's we've been saying it's blue bowl city. It's just we need to take it home and blue bowl it, and there'll probably will be a lot in it. I think I was getting bigger gold out of the other spot yeah. and powder, remember? And powder, yeah. I mean, it looks good, but I still think the other spot was doing better. I'm not upset with that, though. No. There's going to be tons more in that stuff, too. Yeah, right? This stuff is so hard to get out of this black sand for whatever reason. Yeah. It's, it's just... weird. I mean, like, like there's... <laughs> It's hard to explain why, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, this black sand in particular holds on to the gold extremely well. There she is. A lot of the black sand too is almost like this fine silvery stuff. It's not even completely black sand. It's probably why it's just all pyrite, Yeah, right? a lot of white. There's almost like a silvery white stuff in there too. Oh. It's hard to get it out of that. That sure is a lot of powdered gold though. Yeah, dude. Looks pretty. Rick opened up a new cut. Moved all these boulders back. We're gonna start moving our way into the shoreline with the Keep pool. All those safety hazards. Yeah, good job. <laughs> gonna set up the sluice right in here and just get nice and wet, have a nice time swimming in the pool and digging dirt. Heck yeah. We were at that point in the trip where we weren't really caring about the gold much. We were all having an amazing time, and the gold was just a bonus. We decided to close out the rest of the digging by just hanging out of the water, leisurely digging into the sluice boxes. I think Rick's gonna go for a swim. Jumping into the hot tub. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Woo! He's gonna go down the sluice. <laughs> Blowing out your fire. Yeah, <laughs> blow out the fire. <laughs> that just cost us all. Cost us all about a gram. That's 
place to get, that's the place to put the mask on. Easy diggings. Easy diggings. <laughs> yeah, they might not be too rich, but you can run a lot. When you're wet and you're nice and cool. Get one of those easy ups to put it right here. Over. Oh man, if we had the easy up, it'd be over. We'll call this the Hawaiian cut. It's one heck of a cut. Look at all the pyrites, dude. Yeah. It's not black sand, it's gray sand, That's man. That's what I mean. That's why it's so hard to get that out of there. Yeah, because it's heavy. That's the, it's just, that stuff locks this gold in. That's why there's so much of this stuff here, uh, I think. It's so hard to get. Yeah, it blew out with all the pyrite when it builds up in your box, yeah? Yeah. Cause yeah, look at that. It just, the pyrites don't want to flow out the gold and stuff that. Yeah. Look at it. That's about as much as I have in my, 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 my nozzle right now. Nice goal, dude. Yeah, that was the cut. The withdrawal from the bank. Yeah, that was this far cut over here. Withdrawal from the bank. Bank of the West. Well, here's the cleanup of the bazooka sleuth. I have a lot to process still. I gotta take a lot of this home. This is the like the first pan of the cons. It's really hard with these cons. There's lots of gold in that stuff still, but check this out. This stuff has a lot in it. Look how much gold is in this. You cannot pan at this river. You have to take this stuff home and run it. It just gets locked in the sand. I mean, that's a good amount of gold right there. Some chunky pieces too. Look at this thing. You can pick that up. It's so chunky. So. I'm just gonna keep doing pan after pan and we're gonna bring it all home and run it. Check out what the bazooka missed. This is just a little taste, there's more in there too. Lots of finds. Some smaller pieces. Yeah. Let's you know that. I don't think it gets it all that close. Yeah. That's what happens, but hey, we caught it. <laughs> We're in the vault for the suit. This one, this one's right over here, man. Look at me, there's tons of bikes in here, so it's got a more hole. Quite a bit though. Quite a bit of finds. I don't think it's going to see it. Quite a bit of finds. We'll get it out at home. Take it home, clean it up, get all that good stuff out of there. So here's what JC has just the stuff that he's pulled out with the sniffer bottle. He's got a ton of black sand to run still. Oh man, that looks amazing, dude. Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. And if you pile it up, it looks like a good three and a half, yeah, four gram yeah, pile. I think you're right. That's a pile of gold. And that's pretty clean. There's barely any black sands in there. Some sulfides, but that's about it. Because this river's full of it. Yeah, that's why it's so hard to get this stuff. Oh, out. look at the amalgam all sitting at the bottom. Whoa. Oh, wow, yeah, I didn't even notice that until just now. Huh. All the mercury pieces end up yeah. together for some reason. Yeah, at the bottom. Huh. All right. Now one little yeah. big picker, little nugget. <laughs> Killed uh, it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, when you open up a cut, a couple of cuts like that, it's, it's pretty much what you can do, right? If you're on a pay streak. Awesome. Right Killing on, Jerry. It.
Heck yeah. <laughs> Killing it. What a freaking awesome adventure we've been having. Kind of sucks that it's going to end. Tonight's our last night. Tomorrow we got to go home. Probably leave pretty early. Um, just so we make sure we get out of here. It took us almost a half a day to get in here. So we got to get out of here. That's not going to be fun. Especially for these guys. <laughs> these guys have... A really messed up motorcycle ride, that's for sure. Alright, because I'm gonna put my feet in the water right the first thing. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta get used to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no use trying to ride through, I'm just gonna put my feet in the water. Yeah. Yep. They're gonna be wet anyway by the time I cross all over. Yeah. We'll eat up tonight and get some energy. Yeah. This is a little kitchen now. It was a chair, now it's the kitchen. Getting some beef stroganoff going. Stroganoff. Got the dessert. Apple crisp. <laughs> and one more apple crisp. We just had an awesome meal of another round of um, kebabs like we had last night that JC brought, but I brought some. But now my dad's cooking some steak. You're just appetizers. Just appetizers. Just a couple little guys. JC's got some gummy more. I can't bring this Dinny more out twice. Right, I man. gotta get, I gotta get rid gotta of it this trip. <laughs> gotta eat everything. Get rid of all the heavy stuff. <laughs> Smoked out. And just like that, our awesome little golden adventure was almost over. It's the morning, last day. Packing up, kind of taking it easy. Dad's down there catching fish. Said he already caught one. Check out his shiny. That's nice. <laughs> wow, that makes a different sound than I thought. Try swinging on like the class, tip. Huh? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know it was gonna make that sound. See, that's why I wanted you to do that. Let's hear it on mine. Oh, that threw my detector off so gnarly. Sounds like it's supposed to. Is that your second one? Huh? That's your second one? Oh, you gotta... Put it up, baby. Oh, man. You swallowed it, too, so it's gonna have to be perfect. Swallowed it. Woo! Heck yeah! <laughs> oh. Breakfast of champions right there. Well, we're about ready to get the heck out of here. We're all packed up. Pretty much all packed up. Getting everything started up. And look at this thing. Can't believe this thing gets us in and out of here. What a beast. What an awesome trip, man. I can't wait to get home and mess with those concentrates. You guys ready to see some gold? Adventures like these don't come around very often, and when they do, you cherish every second of it. I know I sure did. Oh, 
and I found about three and a half grams, while JC found about double that. I greatly appreciate you stopping by and watching this episode with us. If you appreciated it too, please go ahead and drop a like. Also, subscribe, comment, and share. We'll see you on the next one.